In 1975, I worked in a place called Willowbrook State School. I saw Willowbrook, and I'm not going back there. It was just an overcrowded condition. Willowbrook was built for 3,400 clients, and they came up to over 6,000. Because they, they don't know what they're doing. If you put that amount of people in tight quarters, you know what you're going to get. People with developmental disabilities were put away in institutions, out of sight, out of mind. There was no treatment for these children. I came to work at Willowbrook February 1st, 1954. I was chosen to be a chaplain. When a family had a child with a developmental disability and they went to their pediatrician, the pediatrician said, make believe you didn't have this child, put this child away, and continue with life. I recall a, a girl that came from a base Yaakov, a boy that came from a yeshiva, lower functioning mentality, and parents couldn't put up with it. So they, pardon the expression, dumped them in, in Willowbrook. At Willowbrook, we tried our best. We had Hanukkah parties, we brought in volunteers. It was a huge task. Rabbi Goldberg, I used to be in Willowbrook. He was chaplain. You used to, used to go to shoot with him. Thank God we succeeded a lot. And then New York State, which operated this facility, was sued. And New York State agreed to close down the institution. We had to look for Jewish group homes. We had over a thousand Jewish children. They were going everywhere except not the Jewish homes. I came upon OHEL. The problem was, where can OHEL get the money so that they can succeed? Besides the money, the community was afraid. They thought they'd be attacked. I finally found a former drug den, so I gave them $10,000 as a down payment, and we were on our way to our first home. Where I got the $10,000, I borrowed it. 